What happens when the theory of the large meets the theory of the small? In this case, what am I talking about? The theory of the large? Einstein's general theory of relativity. That's the, that's our complete understanding of cosmology. It alerts us to the nature of the space-time continuum that spans the universe. The theory of the small? Of course, it's quantum physics. Quantum physics. These two theories apply in their own regimes. Quantum physics, the theory of the small. General relativity, the theory of the large. Yet they are fundamentally incompatible. Quantum theory requires that space and time be quantized. That's what quantum theory means. That space and time are not infinitely divisible into a smooth continuum. It actually breaks up into pieces, and you can't get pieces any smaller than that. Meanwhile, general relativity requires that space and time be smooth. Like I said, they both work in their own regimes, but you can ask the question, what happens if they have to meet each other? What happens if they have to operate in the same place at the same time. Just such a situation existed in the very early times of the universe. In the early times, the universe as we know is expanding. That means yesterday it was smaller than it is today. You go back early enough, there's a point where the entire universe was in the same place at the same time, occupying an extremely small volume. A volume small enough that it rivals the scale over which quantum physics applies. The entire universe within the size of an atom. Under those conditions, what do you have? You have like a shotgun marriage between these two incompatible theories. Something's got to give because the large becomes the small. Well, the effort to merge these two theories, these two great understandings of our universe, comprises part of what the, the work that string theorists do. Among other things that they're up to, that's a big part of it. Can you merge these two great theories of the universe? And what this spawns are ideas, really freaky ideas like quantum foam, where the fabric of space and time is so tightly curved onto itself that space-time is less like a smoothly curved fabric and more like the froth on a latte. In this state of matter and of energy, quantum fluctuations, which are a normal part of quantum physics, they can spawn entire universes. Since a universe is the size of an atom, a quantum fluctuation births an entire universe, each with slightly varying laws of physics from each other. And all this unfolds in dimensions higher than our own. Now, not all universes will survive the laws of physics they've chosen for themselves. Some will recollapse before stars are born. Others will expand so fast that matter never has the chance to coalesce into galaxies and stars. And still others might succumb to laws where no matter is stable at all. We're in the one that allowed some of the matter within it to achieve consciousness and to contemplate its very existence.